Do you like the cool fall weather, homemade comfort food with delicious fall spices? Then you need to make my pumpkin bread. It's so amazing and it's packed with all of these great fall flavors and it's quick and easy to make. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So what you're gonna need are two cups of all-purpose flour. Now I'm gonna be using a sifter, but this is optional, you don't have to use a sifter. And by the way, if you're new to my channel, you are so welcome, I'm so happy that you're here for this fall series that I'm doing. So we're gonna go ahead and get that sifted out, you guys. And trust me, you don't have to use a sifter, I just like to use one. Next, we're gonna use one cup of granulated sugar and we're also going to use a half a cup of brown sugar. It doesn't matter if it's light or dark, and we're just going to get that in. Next, we're going to start with the spices. Now, we're going to be adding one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of baking soda. Next are the really great ingredients. We're going to be using cinnamon and nutmeg and pumpkin spice. So you're going to use actually two teaspoons of the cinnamon, one teaspoon of the ground nutmeg, and guys, I'm adding in the pumpkin spice also. You don't have to, but I like mine it's very spicy. And we're just going to go ahead and mix those together and get them blended really well. Now we're gonna put that to the side and we're gonna start with our wet ingredients. And I love this container. It has a gripper on the bottom and a spout for you. This is awesome mixing bowl. I'll put that in the description bar below if you guys are interested. I love it to bake. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now guys, the first thing we're gonna be using, of course, is the star and that's the pumpkin. Make sure that it is pumpkin puree and not the pumpkin pie mix. There is a difference. And we're gonna use the full can, which is 15 ounces, and we're gonna go ahead and get that in there. You can also make this from scratch, but I like to use the can because it's so much easier and it tastes great. And I'm just gonna go back with my spatula and get all those really great, get those tasty bits out of there. Now we're gonna add three eggs. And we're also gonna go ahead and add in our other wet ingredient, which is milk, which is just a, a half a cup. Now, last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and put in the oil. Now, that's just one cup of vegetable oil. I would go with the oil, not butter, to make it nice and moist, the oil to keep it moist. And last, I like to layer my flavors in, so I'm gonna put in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, we're gonna go ahead and mix that together really well. Don't you just love that color? <laughs> it looks awesome. And we're gonna go ahead and combine our wet and dry ingredients and just make sure that you mix it well, but you don't wanna over mix it, guys. Just make sure that you fold it in and make sure that it's all mixed together, but you really, really don't wanna over mix this because it'll come out with a, with a bread that's not as soft and moist as it should be. Now for a pan, I'm gonna use this bunt pan. You can use two loaf pans. Just make sure that you coat them with butter and flour well and put in parchment paper. For me, I'm using a bunt pan. I'm gonna go the easy route with some cooking spray. How you do it is up to you. Don't worry about adding it in, and it looks like it's a lot, but trust me, it'll keep it from sticking. Now we're gonna go ahead and pop it in the oven for 350 and get started on our glaze. So I'm gonna add a half a cup of butter under a very low flame, and then we're gonna add in our pure maple syrup. Make sure it's the real thing to get that great flavor. And this is the glaze for the pumpkin bread. So now that we have that going on a low flame, we're gonna just go ahead and slowly add in our powdered sugar. If it starts to get a little thick, you can add a little bit more maple syrup. And if it's too thin, of course, you can add more powdered sugar. And just do that until it's whisked together and blended out smooth. And now we're just gonna put that to the side for the glaze to thicken up a little bit. Now I'm trying tried and true method of checking on that and it is done. As you can see, it's easily coming off the pan and I do like to add my glaze on when it's warm. Now I like my glaze really thick guys, so you don't have to have it that thick, but can you see how beautiful that is? And that glaze locked in all of those great flavors. Look at that guys, nothing dry here. It's a nice, flavorful, moist pumpkin bread. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make mine with and enjoy it with some coffee. I made a hot pumpkin spice latte. I added a little bit of whipped cream and now I'm putting plenty of pumpkin spice on top. Of course I gotta add a cinnamon stick because you know I like my things spicy. I'm Lady Cinnamon, hey guys. So I hope you guys like this, it's really delicious. If you like this video then check out all of my videos on my channel that I'm doing for the fall series and I'm sure that you'll find some great inspiration. Don't forget to hit the bell and give it a thumbs up and also go ahead and subscribe guys because I would love for you to come back and enjoy some more of these great recipes and DIYs on my channels. Thank you all for watching.